Well, that's your front leg still. Move it and down. Wow. I'm just coming and doing an EVP session. Uh, I'm trying not to move the camera. Got it held in the hands. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my word. But we went nowhere. Turn on back. Wow, it just disappeared. Oh no, no, no. I'm trying to fall. <laughs> Where's it going? Yeah. Yep. By the door. Wow. I don't know what the hell that is. Jesus. Oh my word. I'm just gonna, <laughs> can't believe this. Come back. I've never filmed anything like that before. Look at that, Jesus. There's a moment. Now that is strange. I've been filming this for nearly three minutes non stop. Where's it gone? Three minutes. Oh no, it's back. Jesus Christ. Oh, someone else there. I just saw someone else. I thought I saw a white one. For some reason, it seems interested in that door. Where's it gone? Where's it opening? It was open. Just hoping in there.
So yeah, what goes to doing tonight? If you never done
Catherine told me you're taking the group, uh, Donald and I are taking the group, and what's your name? Sharon and Mark uh, will be taking it on the groups as well. And then we'll sort of, what we're going to do is rotate, it's not meant to be rotate, but we'll actually move around the building. Has anybody read any history about the building uh, of how old it is? And, uh, so, yeah, a lot of, a lot of people, we've done uh, five, I think we've done five investigations here. And so we are probably the second uh, group that's actually, actually done an investigation. And so when we done the first one, it was a little bit active. And then, uh, so, you know, it was, it's a nice building, so we just thought it's nice, it's got some history, so we'll wait and see what happens. We've done the second one, oh, well, it's actually been in the echo as well. Uh, so there has been stories written about the actual building and the connection uh, with Rainford uh, and uh, well, you'll find out that there's an icon on the connection, which we found is being uh, a bit peculiar because that's what we've been picking up here. And so there is history about the rain from the village hall, and that's just a little pen of witches. And so it's so, for me, it's a bit extreme, you would never even think about it. Uh, but for some reason, there's a connection here. Uh, only that I can say that one of the pendle witches actually did uh, on the outskirts of St. Helens, maybe we can't remember. Uh, so that was a bit of a shock, because uh, after the big event, we were looking at names and things, and then it said that one of the people actually oh God, yeah. just actually just yeah. across these lines. Uh, I don't know if I can do it, it's a small village or a small part of St. Helens. So yeah, what we're going to be doing tonight, if you've never done a ghost story before, uh, is we're going to be doing vigils in the haunted spaces or the haunted areas of the building. Mm -hmm. Now some of the spaces are a bit light. Uh, that's the other thing about doing sort of ghost hunting in the summer. I like to do it in the dark. Uh, so I just like to basically, I feel like you can see more things actually. Or when you look at the lights and you're looking for uh, sort of walls and things you can be seen to see in the dark. But you can do ghost hunts in the light. Uh, so what we're doing is vigils in the different areas. And basically on the vigils yeah. we'll be asking out to spirit to uh, try and communicate with us. And that can be either showing us a light, making a sound, talking to us, showing themselves. Uh, and so, you know, that's what we're hoping to, hoping to do. What we actually do is things about. So sometimes they may react to your accent, they may react to your, uh, your voice. Uh, so, you know, we want that to be sort of uh, vocal as possible. We don't want you to be, you watch most of us, we don't want you to be like in that field and an abusing spirit because we want them to communicate uh, with you. Uh, but we want, you know, we want to try, we want to push we want you to try and kind of be interactive as possible. On the actual videos, uh, we do two different things. We do what is called a paranormal investigation. And so on the paranormal investigation, you use electronic devices, so you have like K, uh, EMF meters and K2s, and they sort of, we use them, the spirit will interact with those, and so uh, they've got the lights on them, and so what will happen is we'll have spirits come forward, and the actual devices, the lights may come on or go off. So we ask, you know, by asking them to step forward and step back, we can get yes and no answers. And so also we have sort of, you know, the, the lasers that we've been using for COVID, uh, before COVID, we used them for, for ghost hunting, and basically what you do, you fire the laser where the, the dots will hit, and I say basically in control. Once you start having the communication, you can then get sentences. That's what becomes a bit sort of uh, spooky, you know, when you're having conversations with people. Uh, and so, yeah, and then we have apps that go, you know, just basically white noise, and so all that is is just like a sound wave and the spirit will come over and use that. So we have different things like that. On the ghost hunting side, uh, I think uh, John was talking about taking tipping and glass stimulation. What that is, if we have tape, you've got to sit around the table, and again, it's all your energy. The more uh, positive, the more you're involved and uh, sort of active, uh, you would basically you would put a glass on the table, we have spirits come forward, and you basically put your finger on the glass, and you say, spirit, can you move the glass? We do all different types of experiments to show you that it, we don't get involved in it, but we do all different experiments. And then when that happens, again, what we do, we're looking for yes and no answers with the glass, 
People ask about protection, what type of protection we give. Uh, if you feel unhappy in any of the rooms, you just got to turn around and say, I feel unhappy, and you don't want to be in the room. If you start sensing something yourself, everyone is a medium. I know there's people who are skeptical about it. Uh, everybody has, uh, you know, weakness abilities. And so if you feel, uh, when you walk in the room, you're unhappy, or you see something, again, usually, well, you know, we like, we try to get people to tell us what's going on, how are they thinking. Uh, we were, I was talking to Mark before about one of the rooms, and a lady turned around and said to me, the butterfly, she said, this is the sound of the And she said, the butterfly just landed on your head. But to me, that's sort of, you know, for them to actually admit it. And later on in the evening, we actually found out that it was a white butterfly, and she said, a big butterfly that landed on your head. And we later found out that actually it is a sim, uh, symbolic of witchcraft as well. So we're not looking for witches, there's more than that here. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, so, yeah, so on the, if you do feel unhappy about not going to use the Ouija board, you don't have to use the Ouija board. Uh, you know, but some people watch and then say, I'm going to get involved because they want to see what happens. It, a lot of people find it more spooky not being or scurrying, not being involved, they want to get in, involved and to see what happens. And then protection, again, you know, if, if you feel unhappy, you just say, I don't want to do it. But I believe that all, everybody has family and friends and, uh, you know, on the street world, and so they're the world that you're here. And so sometimes you can start communicating with family and friends on these as well if you've got, uh, if, you know, you've got a message. For oh, you. Yeah. So, does anybody have any questions? No? What we do individuals normally ask about an hour, uh, and we, we will not want to ask on the team that you go out with some on the team will go with you. Uh, when we've done the vigils, we'll come back to this space and you can have you can help yourself with the uh, coffee tea and all that type of stuff, and Tristan, whatever. Uh, and the event normally finishes around quarter to two. What we're, what we're trying to do, depending on how you are as guests, we may say you can go on your own at one o'clock. Of course. What time do you think it's on the table? I wait for cars to be on camera while you've been talking for the last 20 minutes. She's been floating around the room. Oh, yeah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut Yeah. I'm yeah. uh, just going to say, Mark. Uh, Mark came on one of the events and he's, uh, Mark's done like a hundred years of investigations. And he's, he's been on TV, he's done all the types of stuff. And so he's just sort of joined us on two, uh, two of our events. And what he's got, he's got cameras. And but when I like to do ghost hunts in the dark, he likes to do ghost hunts in the light, so he's a bit of a pain. Uh, but we did, a, we did a ghost hunt and he just had the lights on and everyone else. But Mark turned the lights off. And when I did turn the lights off, he stood next to me, scared. That's the thing. <laughs> And, uh, so, but feel free to come, he catches a lot of things on camera, and so feel free, uh, he's got more, have got more than three cameras, do Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's so quite, yeah. he's basically just normal digital cameras, but he, he catches things, he caught, uh, he caught a, a, a gentleman or a priest or something, a monk, was it, in, uh, in Leicester, was it Leicester Cathedral or something? Did you tell me today about it? Yeah, Wakefield Cathedral. And it really gives paper about it um, and catching this as a proper figure. Uh, so he's caught lots of things. Uh, so feel free to have a look at his cameras, uh, have a walk around when he sets them up. The last 15 minutes while James was talking to you all, there was a giant orb floating around the room. So 
don't you? Um, I, I don't know how you're going to say it because I'm terrible for going back on footage and then deleting it by accident. But if I shout you, I'm one of you's near. If you come near cameras really quick, you'll get, you'll get to witness it. So. And there's a YouTube channel as well. So uh, is it Mark Vernon? Yeah. YouTube channel. So yeah, it's a YouTube channel where you can actually see. He's not going to record. He's not. He's not interested in. He's only interested in the ghost. So uh, he wants you to move. It's, you know, it's going to edit you out of here. Uh, but he's not one of filming you. He wants to film the ghost. But if anyone's got a problem with cameras, just turn around and say, don't be on camera. But he's not, he's not really filming you. So. Uh, yeah, she's just going past now. Going so it's just happened again. Yeah, it's going up there. Look. She's going up there. It's like a. Basketball size old. Yeah, cool. Okay. There, 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 there. Yeah, well, well, like I said, darker colours. Pick it up better. Yeah. Like I said, it's, it's not the white bits are not, not doing me any favours. Because my bedroom on my floor is all black. Anybody want to have a quick look? While well, it's floating round, have a quick look at this. <laughs> so, uh, well, actually, it'll, it'll disappear now. If you stand behind cameras, it. All right, just watch for movement on me. <coughs> just been at me for the last minute. Yeah. There, there, there. See it. You see it go up the middle. Oh yeah. So it, when it passes the darker bits, you can see it better. Come on, come on. There, going across, do you see it? Spread mm. that way. Yeah. Going past that light, end yeah. light. Yeah. Yeah. See, so in the darker room, it'll, it obviously it'll show up better. It's, yeah. it's, the decor's not doing me many favours. But you, once you pass it in dark bits, you can see it. Been on for the last 20 minutes, you've just been floating around the room. Mm. Obviously, you're going to spot me in that building through the night, mm. so feel free to look through the cameras on you. Go like that, go to the right quick. I was looking for when you were talking. Yeah, just yeah. 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 first time. Where's the last place you lived? Where's the last place you lived at? Was that a mall? Somebody at that mall? No. 
Cutting wood. Stop recording. <laughs> Oops. You record me. What's your message? Huh? You record me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got protection. <laughs> <laughs> Message and I pass it on. Am I dead? Oh, no. <laughs> so you're not looking too good. <laughs> but it's okay. Who are you with? Who are you with? Can you spell it out? Who are you with? You know that.